Okay, so I've had a couple of requests on how to see students' usernames in the Florida Virtual System. You can't see passwords, but if you look at their passwords, there's a formula, and I can show you what the formula is at the end of this video. To see usernames, you're going to want to go into the gradebook for a particular class. And then if you go up to the gear, you can actually show what you're going to display. And visible columns is where you're going to find it. Username, I always like to have email address, accommodations. We didn't actually add that in. You've been given that by uh, the special ed teachers, the intervention specialists here in the building. You have that information. You can also tell how many minutes a student has stayed on a lesson. And of course, letter grade and score. There are also some other things. This is a lot. It'll take a lot of space in your grade book. Let's take a look at what that looks like. Just click Save, always in the upper right hand corner. As you can see, you have some new columns here. These are the usernames, and these are, of course, made up student names and usernames. And this student is the only one who's finished everything, and 27 minutes was spent on this particular quiz. Uh, if there were more assignments, this would be the cumulative number of minutes spent on any, on the total number of assignments, not per assignment. Email addresses will come here. For these students, I didn't add email addresses since they were made up just as a demonstration. At any point, you can go back to that gear, take some of these away, like I'll take minutes away and also email address and click save. And once again, the username stays here. For the password, I know some of you are asking about that. Passwords for most grade levels. Very, very simple. Let's open up a document. And I'm going to make everything very, very big here. It's the last initial or the first initial of the last name capitalized. So my name is Stephanie Lyons. So mine would be an S. First three of the last name. And then the graduation year. So if you are a sixth grader, your graduation year is 2027. That's what an FLVS password looks like. So it's the first initial of the first name, the first three of your last name, and the entirety of, your, of the student's graduation year. This is for grades K through eight, K through nine, and then 10, 11, and 12, there was a changeover. It went from you had to have a four digit or four character password to an eight character password. So some 10th, 11th and 12th graders still have the four digit. So a four digit would consist of the first three of the last name and then the last two of the grad year. So first three of the last name, first two of the grad year. And this is primarily grades 10 through 12. These, there are some students in these grades that actually have this one. So if you want to help students out, you can spend some time working with this. There also is a spreadsheet that's been shared in the daily what's happening that has all of them. But once you learn this formula, you don't even need to look them up. You can just off the top of your head, figure it out.